Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Karen Palka, and I'll be speaking with Patrick Patterson from BW Rock. Today's show is sponsored by St. Clair County Department of Veterans Affairs. Welcome, Patrick, to Spotlight. Thanks for having me on the show, Karen. So you have always a lot of things going on. Whenever we talk, I'm learning about new things. But let's just talk about the basis of what you do at BW Rock. What does it stand for? BW Rock is the Blue Water Recovery and Outreach Center, and we help those seeking recovery from addiction in the Blue Water area. We and do that through one-on-one -on -one recovery coaching, recovery events, recovery support groups, and transportation, which is a new service that we recently added. So these things are so crucial. I feel like I, I watch how people have changed lives through your organization. How long have you been doing this? Uh, about six years. We started from a mustard seed with a desire to be helpful and, and relentless in our passion and pursuit to be helpful through a different avenue, which was community. And addiction's one of those things that existed in the back alley for the last 20 to mm -hmm. you know, 50 years. Mm -hmm. And we sort of flipped that and said, for us to be successful, we want to come out and be public about this and sort of, and rally behind other people and encourage one another. But if we're gonna make a dent or an impact on the stigma of addiction, these are some of the things we're gonna have to do. And although at the beginning it was uncomfortable and unconventional, mm -hmm. over time, the city rallied behind it. And they, they, through that support, we've been able to gain traction and, and be able to be helpful. This is what I, I, I love watching the process of these past six years. You, you have a structural building, you have a brick and mortar, and where is that at? 10th and Lapeer, um, we have 17 support groups that we do a week now with about 300 people that come in our doors every week. Wow. We do about 400 uh, transportations per month. So our drivers are very busy. We have two vans and two and a half drivers. Wow. And we have four recovery coaches that work with about 80 participants at a time. And this is for 18 years and older. Right, adults. And so you have family functions as well, and we'll, and then we're gonna go into your uh, very large event that's coming up, but uh, just for people to know that, I believe, is it on Mondays that there's a community dinner that if families that are trying to, fig they're trying to weave their way through, maybe they might be able to come and learn more? Well, the spirit of that, we have a family dinner every Monday at five. Mm -hmm. And not only just the people we serve, but anybody in general that just eats. Mm -hmm. you know, there's something <laughs> we all have to eat. Right, we all have to eat. <laughs> but every day we go home and we just, I grab Wendy's or I cook something and I, and I eat a meal. But there's something to be said for sitting down and sitting across from somebody, mm -hmm. pass the salt, how was your day? Mm -hmm. You know, and when we do that more and more, we just are, the spirit inside my soul is healthier. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, I make better decisions. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole premise behind it. I just love that. So these are things that people are not probably aware of. And then there's this great big event that I'm excited that our organization is also a part of and in support of BW Rock. And that's coming up September... September 14th. City Saturday. of Port Huron, Saturday, September 14th. It's an all-day celebration. The City of Port Huron is, de is designated September 14th as National Recovery Day. Oh, so we have a proclamation wonderful. for that. Pick the, pick the day. So September is National Recovery Month. So the reason okay. we're doing it is in September mm -hmm. is because it's National Recovery Month from Maine to California. Mm. And then Port Huron has designated that, that day, day as National Recovery Day. Okay. So it's a day of celebration and hope and unity. A lot of what we do is collaboration with our community. Those are intentional moves because it takes a village. It's one to make the statement it's another to walk it out. Mm -hmm. It's really easy to say, give it to God. Mm -hmm. But when I got problems mm -hmm. to give it to God, it's mm -hmm. another thing. Right. So three things I have to do every day in my life is rigorous authenticity, surrender the outcome, and do uncomfortable work. Mm. If I have people conflict or staff conflict, mm -hmm. I have to be rigorous, authentic, having conversation about this. I have to surrender the outcome. I don't know the results of how this is gonna turn mm -hmm, out. Mm -hmm. And it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It's uncomfortable work. So putting on an event, I don't know if everybody, anybody's gonna show. 
right? I have to surrender the outcome mm -hmm. on who's going to show. Mm -hmm. But I have to have rigorous authenticity about our desire to be helpful to our community. We're putting on Recovery Fest September 14th for National Recovery Day, a day of celebration, resilience, and hope. And I have to do uncomfortable work. It's uncomfortable to come on TV and talk about it. It's uncomfortable mm -hmm. to put on events and surrender the outcome to that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But it applies to how I live my life. I wake up every day and I have to say three things got to happen today. I have to have rigorous authenticity, I have to surrender the outcome, and I have to do uncomfortable work. And that's how we run our business. That's awesome. So our business philosophically runs that way. It's really important to have those those foundational pieces. And Recovery Fest is, is free for the community. You have a lot of great things, a lot of great sponsors that are sponsoring some of these things. Just list off three to five of them. Thank you very much for bringing that up. Uh, we're incredibly grateful for our sponsors. Lawrence Jewelers is our main event sponsor, St. Clair County, CMH, um, Zimmerman's Roofing, um, A Beautiful Me, <laughs> just to name a few. <laughs> well, because you're gonna, you have a rock wall coming, right? Yeah. I mean, like, who gets that opportunity to go on a rock wall and even try or even just watch? Because maybe I don't want to go up there. Yeah. We partner with a lot of little other other recovery organizations in town mm -hmm. to help absorb some of that. So the Dry Dock is going to be putting on an art fair. Mm -hmm. Crossroads Recovery Community will be doing the barbecue. Port Huron Odyssey will be helping out with the dunk tank and the petting zoo. Oh my zoo. gosh. So we've divided and conquered, brought all the unified, all the recovery organizations in town. Lions Recovery is doing the uh, cornhole tournament and then they're serving corn. Oh, that's uh, so exciting. So this is at Pine Grove Park? Pine Grove Park, September 14th. Well, one to, uh, starts at one o'clock. We okay. have the St. Clair County stage for guest speakers all day long. We've okay. got live bands coming. So we'll be playing music, speakers, music, speakers okay. throughout the day as sort of a rotation. And then we've got a 5K that starts at 4.30. Oh, 4.30, okay. And then we've got the community softball game at six. And then at noon, sorry to backtrack, but at noon is a recovery only uh, softball tournament. So all day long, there'll be something happening on the baseball diamond, and then all day long will be something happening in Pine Grove Park. Park. So good family fun activities, like you mentioned, a rock wall, yeah. face painting, yeah. uh, barbecue. Stuff. Balloon, balloon dogs. Balloon dogs, <laughs> petting zoo. Um, so, the, so all of these things that are happening, it's a lot of coordination. Your team is really taking this on, and I think it's going to be, I believe it's going to be very successful. But letting people know to come out, I think I enjoy coming to the, the softball game. I think it's just a lot of fun seeing some of my friends out there uh, being uh, competitive, but yet also friendly, and uh, it's just a space of love because you've only really had that. Uh, that game as your main anchor before. So now this is the first time that the whole day is a celebration. So it's gotten a little bit bigger each year. And now we got the community softball game tucked inside a festival. So we'll continue to hopefully grow and foster the event, um, but also the spirit and undertone of that. And with our staff, they've been very passionate. And, and we try to find those that are in recovery that are very passionate about life again. That's and great. that's where we. That's where we, our trademark has been, and we've thrived under being the underdog and being thought of as that, you, that those individuals can't put on that event. Right. Yeah, you know? so it's really great. It's, it's gonna be a great day, and uh, how do they get more information about this? Go to bwrock.org, or you can contact Angela at 810-689-4858, or visit our Facebook page, BWROC. Facebook page. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's great. That's your handle. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today, Patrick. Thanks for having me on. Good to see you. All right. See you. And thank you for joining us on Spotlight.